Hi everybody, this video of mine is about cervical dystonia which is also called spasmodic torticollis. This is a painful condition in which your neck muscles contract involuntarily causing your head to twist or turn to one side. Cervical dystonia can also cause your head to uncontrollably tilt forward or backwards. A rare disorder that can occur at any age. Cervical dystonia most often occurs in middle-aged people, women more than men. Symptoms generally begin gradually and then reach a point where they don't get substantially worse. There is no cure for cervical dystonia. This disorder sometimes resolves without treatment but sustained remissions are uncommon. Injecting botulinum toxin into the affected muscles often reduces the signs and symptoms of cervical dystonia. Surgery may be appropriate in a few cases. Now let me tell you the symptoms. The muscle contractions involved in cervical dystonia can cause your head to twist in a variety of directions, including chin towards shoulders, ear towards shoulder, chin straight up, chin straight down. The most common type of twisting associated with cervical dystonia is where uh, your chin is pulled towards your shoulder. Some people experience a combination of abnormal head postures. A jerking motion of the head also may occur. Many people who have cervical dystonia also experience neck pain that can radiate into the shoulders. The disorder can also cause headaches. headaches. In some people, the pain from cervical dystonia can be exhausting and disabling. Now coming to the causes of cervical dystonia. In most people with cervical dystonia, the cause is unknown. Some people who have cervical dystonia have a family history of the disorder. Researchers have found gene mutations associated with cervical dystonia. Cervical dystonia is also sometimes linked to head, neck or shoulder injuries. Now, uh, there are some risk factors which I should tell you. The risk factors for cervical dystonia include age. While the disorder can occur in people of any age, it most com commonly begins after age 30. Women are more likely to develop cervical dystonia than are men. Also, if there is a family history, if a close family member has cervical dystonia or some other type of dystonia, you are at higher risk of developing the disorders. Now, here are some complications which I must tell you. In some cases, the involuntary muscle contractions associated with cervical dystonia can spread to nearby areas of your body. The most common locations include the face, jaw, arms and trunk. People who have cervical dystonia may also develop bone spurs that may reduce the amount of space in the spinal canal. This can cause tingling, numbness and weakness in the arms, hands, legs or feet. Now coming to the diagnosis of cervical dystonia. While a physical examination alone can often confirm a diagnosis of cervical dystonia, your doctor might suggest blood tests or magnetic resonance imaging that is MRI, to rule out any underlying conditions causing your signs and symptoms. Coming to the treatment, there is no cure for cervical dystonia. In some people, signs and symptoms may disappear without treatment, but recurrence is common. Treatment focuses on relieving the signs and symptoms. Here are some medications. Uh, botulinum toxin, a paralyzing agent often used to smooth facial wrinkles, can be injected directly into the neck muscles affected by cervical dystonia. Examples of botulinum toxin drugs include Botox, Dysport, Xeomin, and Myobloc. Most people with cervical dystonia see an improvement with these injections, which usually must be repeated every three to four months. To improve results, are to help reduce the dosage and frequency of botulinum toxin injections. Your doctor might also suggest oral medication that have a muscle relaxing effect. Now, there are some other therapies. 
The sens sensory tricks such as touching the opposite side of your face or the back of your head may cause spasm to stop temporarily. Different sensory tricks work for different people but they often lose effectiveness as the disease progresses. Heat packs and massage can help relax your neck and shoulder muscles. Exercises that improve neck strength and flexibility also may be helpful. The signs and symptoms of cervical dystonia tend to worsen when you are stressed. So learning stress management techniques also is important. Uh, and there are some uh, there are some other procedure including surgery if less in invasive treatments do not help your doctor might suggest surgery procedures may include uh, deep brain stimulation in this procedure a thin wire is guided into the brain through a small hole, hole cut into the skull the tip of the wire is placed in the portion of the brain that controls movement Electrical pulses are sent through the wire to interrupt the nerve signals, making your head twist. Then the another method, method is cutting the nerves. This is another option to surgically sever the nerves, carrying the contractions signal, carrying the contraction signals to the affected muscles. Uh, I hope you like this video of mine. If you have cervical dystonia or any other illness please comment about your illness and i'll try to reply you as soon as possible